The time has come for the social season. Bridgerton is an American period drama series written by Chris Van Dusen and produced by Shonda Rhimes for streaming television. It is based on Julia Quinn's novels, which are set in the competitive world of Regency-era London's ton during the season of debutantes. It's Rhymes' first Netflix-scripted series. On December 25, 2020, Netflix released Bridgerton. The first season's eight episodes were well-received. It has become Netflix's most-watched series, with 82 million households tuning in. On Netflix, the series debuted at number one in 76 countries. In today's video, we are going to delve into the most loved and most hated characters in the very popular Netflix series Bridgerton. But before we get into the video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel with notifications on so you don't miss any of the new videos we post. Most loved. The series cast is great and the characters are depicted in minute depth, which is fantastic for audiences who have already read Julia Quinn's best-selling novels. However, some aspects of the book series have altered and readers must decide for themselves which characters are appealing, which are bothersome, and which are outright monsters. Number 6. Anthony Bridgerton Viscount Anthony Bridgerton, Jonathan Bailey, appears to be the ideal bachelor at first glance. He's exceedingly charming and attractive, and his love for his sisters appears to be limitless since he is willing to die to protect them. On closer inspection, the Viscount is far from perfect, and his over protective behavior threatens Daphne's chances of finding a suitable marriage. After all, it appears that he is not quite ready to be the household's leader. After the first few episodes, he gets less lovable, but he redeems himself in the end after his mother gives him a talking to. Number 5. Benedict Bridgerton Benedict is the second oldest son, thus he bears far less duty and pressure than Anthony. He is a good friend to his siblings, especially Eloise, with whom he shares a disillusionment with ton life. Benedict is suffocated by the pomp and formality of it all, and all he wants to do is go away and be a free-spirited artist. So after being exposed to a much more enjoyable, less rigorous side of London life, he naturally explores with a more unorthodox lifestyle. Before shacking him up with a lady, Madame Delacroix, the writers utilize him for some major queerbaiting. Number 5. Hyacinth Bridgerton Hyacinth Bridgerton is the youngest of the eight Bridgerton children. Hyacinth is both distinctive and joyful, while also being wise beyond her years. She's looking forward to following in her sister's footsteps and participating in the marriage mart. Hyacinth is a high-energy, curious young lady who lacks the inhibitions that her older sisters do. She'll make fun of her brothers and laugh in the faces of lords, which is just the kind of energy we need to bring these entitled 1800s men down. Number 4. Colin Bridgerton Colin. He was so little, so naive, and so much easier to deal with than his older siblings. Colin rejects Cressida and dances with Penelope instead, when Cressida mocks Penelope and damages her clothes. We're all hashtag Team Penelope, but throughout the majority of the season, Colin has his sights set on her cousin, Marina Thompson, who is attempting to deceive him into marrying her before her pregnancy becomes too visible. Colin is heartbroken when the truth is revealed, but he assures Marina that if she had only been honest with him, he would have cherished the child as his own. After that, he does what anyone without financial problems does after a breakup. He goes to parties on Greek islands. Fans love watching Colin throughout the series and how his character develops and evolves. Number 3. Lady Violet Bridgerton Many people misunderstand Lady Violet Bridgerton's character because of her benevolence. She comes out as innocent and ignorant at first, but the spectator quickly understands that she is neither. Lady Violet was left to care for her children after her beloved husband Edmund Bridgerton died, and her greatest goal is for them all to find good suitors to marry. It appears to be a simple chore, but it is taxing for her since she is unable to strike a 
balance between what she should counsel her girls and how much she should divulge to them. Her compassionate personality, as well as her capacity to have difficult conversations when necessary, makes her one of the show's more likable characters. Number 2. Simon Bassett Simon Bassett, Reggae Jean Page, is an interesting figure who is welcome departure from the usual Prince Charming. He's daring, humorous, and unafraid to admit that he doesn't belong in society, nor does he want to be a large part of it. He appears to be flawless at first, but he has his flaws as time goes on, such as lying to his wife, telling her he cannot give her a kid when he really means will not, holding grudges, and so on. However, as his past is revealed, the reasons for his actions become evident, and given his terrible story, the audience cannot help but sympathize with him and forgive him for all of his faults. Number 1. Eloise Bridgerton Eloise Bridgerton, Claudia Jesse, is the most outspoken figure, defying social conventions at the time. She's intelligent and daring, and her friendship with Penelope Featherington is endearing and one of the show's most wholesome components. Eloise is highly likable, in part because she is the most accessible to the present audience and has a unique perspective on life. She often feels destined for greater things than marriage and kids, and she is incredibly likable. Most Hated Number 6. Penelope Featherington Penelope is a character who begins as innocent, nice, and carefree. She does, however, become a little obsessed with Colin, and she ends up being a bad friend to Marina. Penelope behaves selfishly and should know better when it comes to her actions. Furthermore, her true identity is revealed at the end, which is both shocking and frustrating. She not only lied to Eloise, but she also embarrassed her entire family by criticizing Daphne, her closest friend's sister. That's quite aggravating. Number 5. Cressida Cowper This pompous character doesn't get much screen time, but in the time she does have, she manages to be a little aggravating. The majority of the time, fans witness her attempting to sabotage Daphne. She believes she is the superior candidate for Prince Friedrich, but she also puts Daphne's life in jeopardy. Though Cressida's disappointment at Daphne overshadowing her and her failure to have sincere intentions with the prince is understandable, her retaliatory acts are severe. Number 4. Anthony Bridgerton Following the death of Daddy Bridgerton at an unspecified time, Prior to the series, Anthony is plainly straining to be the man of the house. Anthony is overprotective of Daphne in the first few episodes, then seeks to marry her off to an abuser. When that fails, and Daphne develops feelings for his best friend, he challenges him to a duel. The poisonousness. Anthony is gloomy, conceited, and snobbish. He expects the rest of his family to follow the rules, but he refuses to marry and continues to have an affair with his mistress, whose feelings he plays with by constantly telling her they can't be together. Number 3. Lord Featherington Lord Featherington is unquestionably deserving of many head shakes. He has no understanding of what's going on, and he doesn't seem to mind. With his daughters, he doesn't help Portia in the least. He's chilly and distant beyond that. Plus, he's squandering the entire family's wealth. Fans are saddened by his demise, but this vexing character does not receive much love. Number 2. Portia Featherington Portia is one of the characters that appears to want the best for her girls, but she doesn't go out of her way to comprehend their wants and needs. She's a little overbearing, from always dressing Penelope in a yellow dress to badgering them throughout the social season. The most irritating aspect of this character, though, is clearly her arrogant demeanor and brutal treatment of Marina. In the opinion of admirers, forging a note from her lover is completely inexcusable. Number 1. 
Nigel Burbrook. Daphne Souter, Nigel Burbrook, pursued her despite her misgivings. Thankfully, this guy only appeared in a few episodes. Nonetheless, he is deserving of the title of most irritating. When it came to this persona, fans could feel Daphne's irritation and hatred. He would have made a terrible husband without a doubt. Nigel was a perfectionist, who was also proud, arrogant, and impatient. He refused to listen to the advice to leave Daphne alone, believing he had a right to her company. Furthermore, supporters will never forgive him for attempting to take advantage of her. At that point, he goes from frustrating to just disgusting. He's the sole kid of his mother. His mother told Lady Bridgerton and Daphne that she didn't want any more children because Nigel was already perfect. We assume this is the basis for his arrogance and pride, which he displays throughout the series. And there you have it, everything you need to know about the Bridgerton cast, and which characters are the most loved, and which are ranked as the most hated and frustrating. Now remember, this is all subjective, so you may not agree with our rankings. So we would love to hear your thoughts down in the comments below. Who is your favorite character and least favorite? If you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to like and subscribe so you never miss any of our new and upcoming content. Thanks for watching.